Hey y'all, Ram Dino here, coming at you from Rich Mountain Fire Tower in North Carolina on the Appalachian Trail. Well, we've had a huge week that's uh, gone past already, it's flew by, and we've got a lot of news to bring you, a lot of new vloggers and bloggers. Uh, if I leave somebody out, I apologize, please uh, let me know, send me a comment, or contact me through my Facebook page at Ramdino Roaming the Trails or my Instagram account. That's just simply Ramdino. And let me know that you're out there. We want to include everybody in this that has a blog or a vlog channel. Uh, if for some reason you've contacted me and you hadn't already started making uh, AT uh, content, then please do so as soon as possible. And then that way we'll get you on the channel here because we want to make sure everybody's supported. But we can't support you unless you've got content that we can comment on. So in any case, looking forward to the new guys and, uh, and, and everybody that we've got now and everybody that's coming up. A lot of folks have been keeping me pumped up. They've commented on the channel and told me uh, some good things about the channel, and so I'm excited about that. And just like the other through hikers out there that uh, like that support, I like that support as well. So I don't live close enough to the trail to do a lot of trail angel work, but this is my idea of being a trail angel, doing it uh, on, uh, on YouTube. So... Couple things, current registration, no bow. Uh, last week we had 1,240. This week we've had 1,375 total on the no bow list. Uh, so that's, uh, we've gone up there, what, uh, 130 plus or minus some. Uh, flip floppers last week we had 54. This week we got 60. Subbo, we've got 63 this week. Last week we had 57, so everybody's climbing. And I'd expect the flip floppers and the subbos, the closer you get to their season, the more I would expect them to climb. Uh, so uh, right now we're at over 1,500. Last week we were over 1,350. So we've got somewhere around 150 more people that have, uh, that have registered. Uh, of course, the ATC says that uh, probably about you can add another 10% to that. I uh, did not have time to contact Amicalola Falls and find out how many people have stepped off. Uh, I'll try to do that on my way back from the trail, and I'll post that uh, maybe here just as a text and, um, and let you know how many people that Amicalola has stepped off. Now, according to the online registration, we should have had 37 people stepped off. So if you remember last week, we were behind that. So some people had either dropped off or hadn't stepped off or hadn't registered. So uh, hadn't picked up their tags at one of the visitor centers. So... We'll see how that goes as soon as I get in touch with the Amicalola Falls State Park. All right, let's go ahead and hit the new vloggers. Uh, we got James Hike. He's a veteran, and uh, he's no bow, leaving on February 4th. So he's coming up here real soon. We got Walking Nowhere. He's no bow, and he's also February. Smoky Mountain Angel. She had originally planned to go, and then she had some health problems with her knee, and now she's recuperated, and the doctor has cleared her, and she is going uh, no bow, and we're excited for you, Smoky Mountain Angel, and looking forward to following you. Otzi Hiker is on the trail right now. We picked him up. He's no bow, and you also remember he's with Wrong Way. We got Greg, who's no bow. He's leaving on the 2nd of April, and he's with VW, and his wife is his support team. We got fun with the Facklers, and they are no bow, leaving on the 15th of March. On the move, I don't have his uh, vlog site there, so on the move, if you'll let me know what that is, as well as uh, when you're leaving and what direction you're heading, I'll get that updated. Boho Berry's on the is going to be on the AT. She's heading no bow the end of March. Underdog on the trail, he's doing it again. You remember last year, he made it all the way to Harper's Ferry, so this year he's going to continue his hike. Underdog, so we're looking forward to that and following you along as you as you continue that hike. Because I can, I am Mary Ann is heading no bow February seventh, and because I am Mary Ann, we're going to get you a little shorter trail lane trail name. So for right now, I'm going to refer to you as BMA uh, until you get your trail name. But she is a very special person. She's a seven seventy six year old retiree who is recovering from various health problems all her life and now she is going to be able to hit the Appalachian Trail and, and through hike it all the way through the Katahdin. So we're going to cheer you on BMA and we look forward to your hike. Hot Mess Hiker, she's no bow, she's leaving the 1st of March. Adina C, she's a veteran, she's leaving no bow uh, 27th of March. Awoken Ghost, you remember last year he made it all the way to the midpoint of the Smokies there at Newfound Gap and he's going to be starting over there at Newfound Gap and continuing his hike. Christopher Gibb, he is no bow, leaving 13th of March from Springer. 
Lanny Gherkin is no bow, leaving the 28th of March. Out Roman, I don't have your date, uh, so let us know what that is. We, we picked up a couple Trek bloggers. KCH is no bow the end of March, I believe March 19th. And Chauncey from the Track Podcast, she is fresh off the PCT and uh, last year, and so she is going to be doing, or, or might have been the year before last, because I think I saw a picture of her with uh, Dixie at the southern terminus of the PCT, a group photo. So in any case, she is a PCT veteran. She's going to be tackling Appalachian Trail. You remember, uh, she goes by the trail name of Chomps, but she, her radio personality is on the track, and she does a podcast on Hiker Radio with Zach, uh, who we think may have been a through hike on the Appalachian Trail. It's debatable. Uh, we've got a, a new Instagrammer, James Hikes. He's a veteran. we got Boho Berry. Of course, she's also a vlogger, but she has also got an Instagram account. Pure vo- vlogger is Cody Hancock, or Adcock, excuse me, and he's no bow on the 17th of March. So, again, if I've left everybody anybody out, I'm sorry. Please let me know, and I will uh, make sure that we include you uh, in our list and, and on the Facebook page. So if you want to get this complete list, we'll leave a link to the new ones down below in the description of this video. However, if you want to get everybody else that is we are out there tracking, and that's well over 100 now, then you'll need to go to my Facebook page and get that information. There's also a spreadsheet that's got a lot of people there, uh, and that is, again, Ramdino on, on the trails. A weather report, uh, and this is centered around Dillsboro. I moved it from Franklin to Dillsboro because... Uh, we've got uh, three hikers out there, Otzi Hiker, Wrong Way, and uh, James Bilger, and they are out there, uh, and this is kind of their general vicinity. They're all past Franklin now. Uh, so uh, today's going to be a great day for them, uh, but we got a cold front moving in through the first of the week. So Monday is going to be a tough day for you. It's going to be rain and snow starting Monday evening, and the low is going to be around 32. Tuesday, you got an 80 to 90% chance of snow. Uh, and the low is going to be 8. So if you've got any wind at all, of course, that could drop those uh, wind chill factors down below uh, the zero point. So you guys button up in your sleeping bags and whatever you got, put everything on and stay warm. Uh, but after Tuesday, the rest of the week improves, and uh, you should have some uh, great great weather to hike in. It's going to, during the, the middle of the day, the, the temperatures will be slightly warm and above freezing, and then at night, it will get below freezing, but it'll be in the double gi- digits, except, of course, for Tuesday and Wednesday when it'll be in the single digits. So, again, guys, uh, good luck to you out there. We can't wait to see your videos, and y'all let us know uh, how the temperatures and how the weather treated you. Okay, just a little more u- news on the government shutdown. If you don't know by now, especially you guys out there on the trail, uh, hopefully the government shutdown is over at least for the next three weeks. So uh, the knotheads up in Washington came together. And uh, this is not a political vlog, so we're not going to get into politics, but, but it looks like that uh, the government is going to open. So that means two things. One, you ought to have some a uh, little closer uh, 911 calls in case you get an emergency, and trail maintainers now that they're going to have insurance can get out there and start getting some of those blowdowns out of the way. So uh, hopefully that will uh, take care of some of that and take care of the, some problems you may have out there, and there might be some facilities that were closed that will be open now. Okay, a couple quick updates. Uh, probably not going to be able to hit everybody here. And if I miss you, I'm sorry. But uh, let me go ahead and hit some updates of some videos of, of people that are uh, posting blogs. And uh, we'll just hit it there. Greg Nobo has posted his intro. And all of these are going to be intros. So Greg posted one. Fun with the Facklers posted their intro. KCH, Ginga Ninja, Lanny Gherkin, Boho Berry, and Chauncey all posted their intros. As far as gear videos, Grizz in the Woods posted his, Richard Gad, Hot Mess Hiker, Green Feet Outdoors, Craig Mains, and Out Roman all posted gear videos. So there's a lot of good stuff in there that, uh, that we can take from each other, and you guys take a look at that and uh, leave them a comment. Uh, food and cooking, we had Acto later. She showed us how she's going to be de- dehydrating spaghetti. So uh, good luck with that. Uh, Dozer on the Trail was leaving about his uh, nutrition, and Rabbit was telling us on his nutrition on long runs. And you'll remember that Rabbit is going to be doing, trying to do the fastest known time through the 100-mile wilderness once he gets there. Uh, a couple shakedown hikes out there. We got Stalin Bear did several. Fun with the Facklers did one, and so did Ketchup. 
on the trail updates, of course, we've got James Bilger. He's out there, and he is uh, past Hawks Mountain. He also met Mike Bowman, who we are tracking, and Mike was out doing a shakedown hike. So Mike's going to be starting a little later. Uh, but James Bilger has a ton of videos, ton of trail videos where he's out there. So good, interesting stuff. James, we appreciate you posting those and uh, look forward to looking at them. Jay Hiker, he's got a ton of videos. Otzi Hiker, uh, of course, he and Wrong Way are together, and they've each got some videos together and separately. So they look like they're having the time of their life out there. So keep it up, guys. Uh, rain winter, uh, rain gear, and clothing uh, videos. We had Larry Smith, Eastern Backpacking, also included his layering, Act Old Later, Bearded Servant, and Outdoor Adventures all gave us their clothing uh, videos. And Runa Hikes gave us a training video. So a lot of great videos out there. A couple other updates, Traveling Outside the Bats gave us a video of why they have quit the corporate world and living out of a van, and now are going to be doing a through hike on the Appalachian Trail. So, uh, so that's pretty neat to see how they've just given up the matrix and uh, they're getting on the trail. Quicksand on the trail, he gave us a wonderful video about thanking everybody and uh, and all his subs, and also gave us a little Q and A time. And Three Mile gave us his final thoughts and preps before he hits the trail. Julie V, an update on her. She gave us that uh, she is no bow, 21st of March. We didn't previously have that. And I also have a new link for her there on YouTube. Kyle, A.K. Butsy, has a, a new announcement that he is hiking for mental health uh, as his charity. Sarah Simpson, we've got a update from her. She's leaving March 8th from Dublin, Ireland. So, uh, Sarah, we look forward to you getting over here and Hopefully now with the government shutdown or cleared up, you'll be able to get through TSA in no time and you won't have any problems getting over here. I uh, wanted, wanted to talk about the hiking sailor. Uh, he has really lived up to his trail name of One Up. Now, he got that trail name from Miss Janet, uh, or, or before Miss Janet, but after Miss Janet, she renamed him Oz. I don't know if that's because he's crazy as Ozzy Osbourne or what, uh, but he did the, some of the luxury items and not only did he nominate three other bloggers, but he added an all-star list of people that he wanted uh, their uh, gear challenge, their luxury gear, gear challenge. And that was Bigfoot, Dixie, and Nemo. So everybody, let's go over to Bigfoot, Dixie, and Nemo's channel, comment, let them know that Hiking Sailor has called them out for their luxury gear item, and see if we can get them involved in this class, this 2019 Appalachian Trail through hiker class. Um, everybody, go to those blogs and uh, and let them know that uh, that they're being challenged by the hiking sailor. And also, he one upped himself once again. Uh, he challenged three Instagram hikers, so he has been busy putting up uh, a lot of challenges on there. So he's what the Canadians call a crazy Canuck. Uh, so I don't know where that word come from. Maybe he can tell us where the word Canuck come from. But he is wide open and he is certifiable believe me so if you cross paths with him this year he loves to answer hiking sailor questions and uh, loves to do random interviews in, in the current section he's hiking so go ahead and hit him up for him he'd love to do that for you and uh, we hadn't seen a crazy guy like this a crazy canuck in in ages so we look forward to seeing him and uh, as this west coast retired sailor hits the trail and goes sobo uh, two hikers that are continuing hiking from last year. We already talked about a Woken Ghost and Underdog on the trail. So let's keep their comments rolling into them. I do want to give a shout out to Swat Sullivan uh, over at HikerFocus.com. That is, uh, we have kind of been working together and uh, he has got a list of hikers there in kind of a different format than I do. Uh, you can go and check him out there and uh, he kind of lets me know who he's got and found and uh, and then uh, he kind of gleans from my channel, other people, and then we talk back and forth. And, uh, and so it's kind of a joint effort for that. So thanks a lot for that, Swat Sullivan. I appreciate you keeping me honest. Okay, for our hiker starting next week, we've got Green Feet Outdoors. He is Nobo January 31st. And Patches AT 2019. He is leaving February 1st. So guys, those, those times are right around the corner, and we look forward to you. Uh, hitting your first videos and sharing those with us from the trail. A couple cool happenings that are coming on the channel. I want to give a shout out to Ashley Cobb. 
Ashley, I appreciate you. Ashley told me that uh, when she would uh, go to people's channels that she had found through my channel, that she would tell them Ramdino Center. So that's kind of a new catchphrase that, uh, that I might could start using. Tell them Ramdino sent you. So if you go to other people and you do the same, let them know Ramdino sent you to their channel. Artemis has volunteered to do logos for people, so hopefully she won't get so inundated after this video that everybody asks her to do so many that she can't do them before she goes, but she has been gracious enough that she is putting together logos, logos and apparently she's some type of uh, uh, graphic artist expert, and so uh, she's going to make one for the channel for me, and so I appreciate that, Artemis. Thank you very much for doing that. Hiking with Arrow called me out on the... Uh, gear luxury item challenge and uh, I met the challenge I will leave a link to that in the end notes at the end of this uh, video so you can go and find that but hopefully you can enjoy that and uh, and the, you know we all have different gear and it's very interesting to see that uh, that my combination of three items actually somebody else out there had the exact same combination uh, so that was uh, that was pretty cool Several folks have commented in about how they would like to see me structure the channel, and uh, I greatly appreciate those comments. Thanks a lot. Um, right now, the way I've got it structured is uh, about all I can do. We're tracking over 100, and uh, between this and the matrix and uh, what little bit of honeydew list I can uh, take care of, uh, that's about all I can do. So I do do appreciate your comments. Uh, if I don't, if you don't see those changes, it's just because I just frankly don't have time to do that. But thanks a lot, and keep those comments coming. One thing about the channel that was a milestone this week is that we hit over a thousand subscribers. So I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, and for me, it's not about how many subscribers I can get. It's about how many people that I can uh, touch out there and reach out to that they can get to the rest of the uh, through hiker community for 2019. So it's not about me. It's about the other through hikers. And uh, but it's good to hit that thousand mark. That means that we've reached a thousand people out there that are getting updates. So. Um, I appreciate y'all doing that. Thanks for all my subscribers for doing that. And even though there's still a lot of people out there that watch the channel and don't subscribe, that's okay. Uh, but if you want to get those notices, then hit my head at the end of this video and that'll subscribe you to my channel and you'll get those notices that you need uh, as soon as another video drops from this channel. I want to uh, especially talk to James Brickman. He had contacted me with his information via Facebook, and somehow I erased that. I don't know what happened to it. But, James, I don't want to leave you out on your through hike. We want to make sure that we are supporting you, so please contact me again through one of those uh, ways to contact me and, uh, and let me know that your information and your blog channel or blog, blog link uh, so that we can make sure that we support you as well. This year's hiker community really seems to be coming together. Now, I, of course, have not been as involved in it from year to year, so I don't know if it was this close as last year and the years before, but I can tell you it's really neat to see what a great community this is and people challenging each other, and it's just like a bunch of uh, a fraternity or sorority getting together and everybody having a good time going back with each other and new people jumping in and becoming part of the community even though they're not through hikers everybody's welcome so I appreciate the openness and just pre appreciate being a part of that uh, community it's just great to do that well I believe I'm going to go ahead and head on back down the mountain it's a little chilly up here and uh, and so we'll see you later as always appreciate you and we'll see you out here and action don't be doing that. Now you'll get me tickled. Just let me start them on. All right, here we go. Hey, y'all. Ram Dino coming at you from Rich Mountain. Is this Rich Mountain? I don't know where in the heck we're at. <laughs>